Hey, what's going on guys, Modernocity here, and uh, today we're gonna be continuing mods on the 2020 R1. Before we get started, uh, I took a few of the things off that I've been meaning to take off. Uh, a couple dealer stickers that were on the bike. Shout out Wood Cycle Country, but I gotta have the bike stealthed out, so took those off. I also took off the little warning sticker, the, the fuel warning sticker that's on the tank, or was on the tank. It was right there, I've got everything nice and polished can't even tell that it was there there's a couple other things that are easy to take off and help the look of the bike but today we're focusing on the tail specifically the light now i told you guys in the last video when i did the fender eliminator kit that i had something coming we have the jl designs tail light it's a smoked integrated tail light and what an integrated tail light is if you're not familiar it's a tail light that integrates the turn signal. So when you get rid of the rear fender, usually the rear fender includes the turn signals on the rear of your bike. Now JL Designs sent me out their tail light that you guys will be familiar with if you've been around since my 2017 R6. They first started making these tail lights and uh, the turn signals on the 2015 R1. And the tail of the bike is the same that it is on the 2015. Well, when they came out with the 2017, they used the exact same tail light in the 2017 R6 as they do in the R1. So, JL Designs started making kits with the uh, R6 in mind. I did that along with their turn signals, and I'm gonna do the same on this R1 because I absolutely love them. Along with the exhaust, the lights really add a lot of character to the bike. They bring the bike alive. Obviously, the exhaust makes a big difference on that. I've got something coming for the, for the front headlights. Again, if you've been around since the R6, you guys already know. Now, as I mentioned, the tail light from JL Designs is integrated, so it has turn signals in it. But they also offer turn signals that you can add to the bike. And what they'll do is sit right on top of these little fins, and they illuminate for your turn signals. The cool thing is, because they're inset in this tail, you, got, you know, you got this opening here, when they go on, they basically light up this whole little space right here, and it looks really, really cool. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. It's a little bit of an involved install. Hopefully, I can knock this out today. But I'm really excited because the red tail light on the rear of the bike is, other than the exhaust, the biggest eyesore taking away from this bike being stealth. So here is the smoked integrated tail light. We got a little bit different of a look here compared to the stock one. This one looks pretty neat. We got some uh, cables here that are gonna give us both turn signal and brake light functionality on the new turn signals. And here are those turn signals that we're gonna be installing. So first things first, we gotta take off the rear seat. That'll give us access to all the wires that we need to um, connect to. And we can take out the tail light. It's pretty simple. Open up. Rear seat. What we'll be doing is uh, taking off this bar and this bar right here just to give us a little bit extra space. I think I'm gonna have to take off the side panels on the rear, both to do the turn signals and to get the tail light out. The two pins that I just took out, they connect through the holes on the tail light right there, but the subframe sits on top of those uh, little tabs, so you can't, can't lift this up to get it out. So if I take out this, then that should lower the rear side of the tail light down a little bit so that I can just slide it out. I'm gonna take off the seat, I'm gonna take off this, and then we'll take off the side panels so we can get out the tail light, and then we can move on to the turn signals.
So I'm also gonna have to move the, uh, the closeout from the rear fender that I put on in the last video. So if you have the original fender, you're gonna have to take off the, the stock fender anyways. You gotta help her again. What's up? Are you happy? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> so I've got the new tail light in. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to have it disconnected um, to kind of work the wiring back here, but let's go ahead and get it connected right now just so we can see how the brake light looks. So these wires right here are gonna be for the integrated turn signals, but we can still get brake light functionality just by putting the uh, plug back in. We'll get it on. And there we have the new brake light. Super, super clean. So right off the bat, we've got a little bit different of a look here. We've got the ring that goes around the tail light that's always gonna be red. And then on the center, you got six LEDs that will flash when you put on your brakes. Do a little brake test. Sweet. So yeah, I'm gonna get that uh, disconnected. We'll move on to the turn signals. The turn signals are gonna mount up right to this fin. They actually mount on the underside. And then you're gonna drill a tiny little hole where the wires are gonna go in. It's got some 3M adhesive that's already on the turn signals. And then the LED strip on it kind of butts up against the edge of that fin. So we'll take care of that. And then we'll move on to the wiring. All right, so the easy stuff is done. The tail light is in, the turn signals are in. Everything is looking mighty fine. Left and right, good to go. And then the wires from each side are threaded into the tail of the bike. Now is the difficult part, and that's the wiring. There's a lot of wires. We got three from each side, two from the tail light, and then we have these uh, little dual function wires. All of that has to be wired together. Uh, fortunately, JL Designs has a diagram so that you guys know exactly how everything has to be wired together. So we have everything here. We got the right side turn signal, the left side turn signal, the tail light, and the yellow and blue wire coming from the tail light. We have the dual function wires going into the one single wire. And then we have the left, or rather the right and left OEM plugs. Those we are gonna use from the uh, stock fender. If you wanna sell the fender together and not cut your plugs, you'll have to splice into the plugs that are from your bike. I prefer not to do that because those are permanent on the bike. And this whole thing, they don't sell too often because not a whole lot of people are buying these fenders. So I got no problem cutting these and that'll just make it a little bit nicer since I can use these stock plugs. So what I'm gonna do is roughly connect all of these wires just to test everything out. Then I'll tape them together so they don't fall apart. And one by one, I'll go through and I'll solder each piece and uh, it should be really, really nice. Eventually. All right, step one is hopefully done. I've got everything wired up together how it seemingly is supposed to go. Uh, it is quite the mess. Everything's just loosely tied together. 
Uh, nothing is cut to the length that it's gonna need to be. Obviously, I could just connect all of this together with some butt connectors and not cut anything and just have a mess in my tail and it still be working. But I, I want it to look really nice. I did the same thing on my R6 and it was just a lot nicer having a really clean wiring job in the tail. So I am going to test it out and see if everything is working. Hope the bike doesn't blow up. That's not promising. There is a light. What happens if I put a blinker on? Okay. Right now they should be running at just a dim red. I'm gonna have to figure out why they are not doing that though. Okay, I think the answer is that I'm an idiot. Um, I found that I had not actually connected a couple of the wires. I have the red from the dual function wires to the turn signals. I just had those taped together. Um, I had not actually gone back and connected them. So I'm gonna do that right now and we'll test it again. Let's try this again. There we go. Maybe. Yeah. Do those get brighter? Yes. Yes. Okay. Both turn signals running, brake light running. Let's go ahead and put on my hazards. That's cool. Let's go ahead and put on left blinker. Good. Go ahead and put on right blinker. Good, test the brake. I'll just press the uh, rear brake. Yep. Oh man, everything works. Here's the mess that we've got. Uh, one thing that I did, the the plug that goes to the tail light, it's tight and there's no slack on it. You have to splice into it. So what I did, for example, this blue and red wire that goes on that main plug, I cut it and then I just use a couple extra pieces of wire and I connected one to one end, one to the other, then spliced them together and then uh, connected it to the two orange uh, wires, one from each side of the dual function wires. For the reds that come from the dual function wires, those go together and connect to the yellow wire on the plug. So I did the same thing. I just used a couple pieces of yellow wire. I extended both sides so that I could bring it out, connect it, and uh, those are connected to the red wire. One eternity later. All right, so I thought I'd show you guys midway what I got going on because everything is still really visible, uh, but I've got it really well organized before I do the final soldering on some of the uh, some of the wires. So what I have done is connected both of the dual function wiring pieces to the uh, main tail light uh, harness and put some shrink wrap on both sets of wires. So we got the blue soldered to the orange, we got the yellow set of wires soldered to the red set of wires. And so this is basically like its own little set right here. And then what I did for the other wires is I've got the set of wires going to the right side and the set of wires going to the left side. And I put heat shrink on each of those all the way back to the bottom here, so they're very nicely tucked away and separated. So now what I'm gonna do from here is basically uh, figure out the exact lengths that I want everything to be, and then I will cut them down and solder each side to their corresponding plug. One hour later. All right guys, I I've already tested it, so I know it works. Check it out. Turn on the key, see my beautiful, beautiful soldered wires. Here we got the tail light, go right. <laughs> Got the tail light and the tur turn signal illuminating. The left. Now we got the left and the left turn signal. Test the brake. All the lights. This is amazing. Have you seen a better wiring job for this? <laughs> Everything tucked in. Got all this stuff just tucked in right there. Got that tucked in in the back. It is all done. All we got left to do is, well, one, clean up because I made a freaking mess. All the random wires that I clipped up, and then we'll put on all of the pieces to the tail, get the seats back on in the morning, show you guys how it looks.
right guys, what do you think? So you know how I was telling you about how the turn signals illuminate this whole area in here. I love how that looks. If you wanna check these out, I'll link the uh, products that I used in the description, the tail light and the turn signals. Huge thanks to JL Designs for sending this out to me. But yeah, you can get these tail lights and turn signals for the 2017 and newer R6 or the 2015 and newer R1. I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you liked it or if it helped you out. Make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you guys get notified of all the videos coming out for this bike and all my other bikes over here. Y'all have been awesome. I've been Motonacity. Remember life's better with horsepower. Keep life lived and I will see you guys in the next one.